Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So let's go into this story. So we have Nissan, Mitsubishi, and Honda joining forces so they can <laughs> collaborate on electric vehicles and softwares. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this partnership. Um, we know that the Japanese are behind when it comes to electrifications, when it comes to software as well as vehicles. But one thing I can give Nissan is they've actually been doing electric vehicles for a while now. They started off with the Nissan Leaf, which has done, you know, decently. It sold some cars and it's it's pretty much affordable when it comes to EVs. But Honda hasn't really like fully jumped in i mean they did it with the i think it was what the honda fit ev a long time ago and then other than that they went silent they've been investing on um hybrid technology with what is it what is that uh ugh, dang it i cannot remember that technology that they were they they had a hybrid system that they were utilizing before um but anyway anyway we must go on but they haven't really like gone all in when it comes to electrifications. And this makes sense, I guess. They're both Japanese companies, and I'm sure they can come up to something that's beneficial to all three of them. Honda and Nissan will co-develop platforms for next-generation software-defined vehicles. Mitsubishi confirmed rumors about joining the newly formed Honda and Nissan Alliance, with three companies signing a memorandum of understanding earlier today, the trio of Japanese automakers will collaborate on software development and share R&D costs of electrifications. Furthermore, Nissan and Honda agreed on supplementing models in their respective lineups in certain regions around the world. The original, the original <laughs> agreement between Honda and Nissan was signed on March 24, on March 2024, but now Mitsubishi has stepped into the partnership. The mutual announcement suggests that an addition of a third partner will allow further synergy and create new business opportunities, which makes sense. I guess um, this isn't a terrible deal comparing to the one that Honda had with uh, GM, which I thought was just a terrible idea. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm not a business person, so, um, you know, I have very little to say. I'm just an armchair <laughs> person. Um, Mitsubishi president and CEO... Tikayo Kato said, Nissan and Honda's discussion on a possible partnership have progressed. We have decided to participate in this framework. Collaboration with partners is essential in today's automotive industry, which is undergoing rapid changes due to technological innovations such as electrification, intelligence. We believe that we can discover new possibilities in variety of fields through collaborations among the three companies. Which which makes sense, you know. I mean, three heads are better than one when it comes to money, because all these technology and investments takes everything just takes a lot of money. And the fact that there's three companies instead of just one company putting in a boatload of cash into R and D and design softwares and just different places, you can have one custom one company focusing on certain areas while the other one focuses on certain areas you know whether it's software or hardware or whatever it is and then they put those together and you have yourself the ultimate product i guess you know we'll see what happens two companies agreed on joint research projects including development plot developing uh, platforms for next generation defined vehicles sdvs based on results of the research phase, which is expected to be completed in approximately one year, Nissan and Honda will consider the possibility of mass production. In terms of software, the focus will be autonomous driving connectivity, AI, which are deemed crucial for automotive industry. The partnership will also include shared batteries and key EV components such as motors, inverters, e-axles, and future production models. Furthermore, the joint venture between Honda, LG Energy Solutions might supply lithium-ion batteries to Nissan in North America after 2028. Nissan and Honda will also consider sharing models. The companies have reached a basic agreement on shared models in regions they will be offered to. However, there was no intention, no mention of a timeline for debuts 
of badge engineered vehicles. Finally, the two brands study the possibility of collaborating in energy services in Japan, including charging. The tie-up between Honda, Nissan, Mitsubishi effectively splits the Japanese automotive landscapes in two against a rival group formed by Toyota, the Hashitsu, Suzuki, Subaru, and Mazda. Imagine if all companies, like all those companies, like came together, like Subaru, Mazda, Suzuki, Toyota, and Daihatsu, and Honda, Nissan, and Mitsubishi, like if all those companies come together and formed like this ultimate, <laughs> you know, company, that would have been fucking sick. I'm surprised like Honda didn't reach out to joining Mazda or, um, you know, joining Toyota in general, because Toyota has always been like this huge rival for Honda. Maybe that's the reason why they're partnering it up with these two companies. I mean, I don't want to knock on the companies, but if I was the man in charge, I would try <laughs> my best to collaborate with Toyota because Toyota has been building hybrids for a really, really long time, even though they are behind when it comes to the electrification phase. But the partnership with Nissan makes a little bit more sense because Nissan has always been um, full electric, at least with a Leaf, for a really, really long time comparing to Honda. So they can learn some stuff collaborating in this phase. I mean, we'll see what happens. Only time will tell to see whether this joint partnership makes sense or is it just a complete failure. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure to like, subscribe.